What up, everybody? This is Big Elbow, like always, chilling with the two tiny fellas, Averno, Atlantis. And uh, if you did not watch my last video, you might want to go check it out. Um, around the beginning of October, I went to a crazy sale in Fresno where the first 20 comics were free, and then the they were 25 cents after that. He also had some dollar books I picked up and some free VHS cassettes. Um, it's very indie heavy on the comics. So if you're into that kind of thing, uh, definitely check it out. Um, so anyways, so after that day, after that sale, I still hadn't had enough. So uh, me and my buddy, we went on to uh, a shop in Fresno called Heroes Comics, which is a great shop. If you're, if you're ever in the area, I definitely suggest checking it out. They have a pretty deep uh, bin of 50 cent comics. So we hit that up, and uh, these are the books that I got. Start with my Marvel, Truth, Red, White, and Black. Um, that's number three. I have like one other issue. I might have number four. Um, I'm gonna try and put that run together if I can find them in the in the cheap bins. I have a feeling number one might be a problem though, because uh, I don't know. There might be some speculation on that shit now. I could have picked these up at a local at a shop in my cell you have all most of them are 25 cents each and I, I fucked that up so anyways there's that and I've also been over the years been trying to put together this 12 issue series of Deathlock um, introducing clown um, this is issue number four um, most issues are by with art by Leonardo Manco um, this one is by Eric uh, Canete, who I'm a big fan of. I didn't realize he even did a fill-in issue on this. It's the only issue on this series that he did. I never even realized it until I, I seen it the other day. Um, I looked on the inside. It doesn't really match. His style doesn't really match up for this this comic very well. But regardless, it, I, I was picking up this series and I collect Eric Canete, Canete comics anyway, so I was going to get it regardless as long as I could find it cheap. Those are the only two Marvel books that I got. And if you've been watching my videos, you know I've been on a vigilante kick lately. Um, here I got the sixth issue conclusion to Night Trap series by Marv Wolfman. Um, Tom Lyle on this issue, but I believe this is the series that is mostly drawn by uh, Rick Leonardi. On to some more uh, vigilante. This is a different series called called uh, Vigilante, Vigilante Southland. I have the first issue of this and it was it was pretty good. I think it's only a four or five issue series, something like that. Maybe, I don't know, I, I don't think it ever completed. I could be mistaken on that. If anybody knows, hit me in the comments. And then, uh, again, these were all 50 cents each. This is not quite DC, but kind of. It's a Milestone uh, Shadow Cabinet. I found one of these for 50 cents, number one for 50 cents a while back. So here's number two, number three, number six, and number seven. So I'll need to fill in the uh, four and five to have the first uh, seven issues but I'm mostly picking this up because I am a fan of John Paul Leone and I think he draws this whole series that goes like 17 issues I will not spend I don't think I'll I would spend a dollar on these but for 50 cents I will pick them up I know milestones getting kind of hot right now but I don't really trip off that kind of shit I just want it for the uh, JP Leone art and then I got an image book, uh, Ride, Burning Desire. Um, I like the original, um, the original run on uh, Ride that came out, you know, many years ago. Um, it still has a solid lineup of, of creators on there, so I figured I'd check it out for fifty cents. Uh, this is number two.
Got a Valiant book. This is just run filler for some Exo Man of War. Number 27. Armor Hunter storyline. Um, again, I won't pay that much for these. Now I got to get onto my, my indie shit like always. Uh, this is the Tower Chronicles number two. Dreadstalker. Uh, dope ass. Uh, Matt Wagner, I'm a fan of his writing. Simon Bisley, you guys know what I always say. Nobody beats the biz. Good interior art. Shit is cool. Um, 12 Reasons to Die. I have a few issues of this. I think I have number one and two. Uh, it's a always mix up of artists on there. So I, I, don't, I like that. Um, try and get the refs when I can find them. Uh, this I seen in Antonimo Bay, I think, was showing these. One of his videos. Hilly Rose. I believe it's Hilly Rose. It kind of looks like it says Lily, but I believe that's an H, and I think it's called Hilly Rose, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, it has some pretty cool interior art. I don't really know what it's about, but I saw it in his videos, and I was like, ah, 50 cents, I'll take it. I grabbed this Samurai. I'm a big fan of this aerosol black and white shit, especially the issues by Del Kion. And this is actually an issue that uh, I had as a kid. This is the first issue of Samurai that I ever seen. Um, probably the first Del Kion art that I ever seen. And this one is in pretty good shape, so I picked it up. I don't know if I'm gonna... I have another copy. I think it's more beat up than this one, so I might keep this one, get rid of my other one, just pass it on probably to my buddy or something. And that was that for uh, that day in Fresno. Now the next day, I would have went back to that sale the next day and got another 20 comics for free, but I, and I had uh, made plans, me and, me and, uh, me and my girl, uh, me and big baby mama, we went to Vegas for a couple nights, and uh, there's a toy shop over there, right there, because we like to stay downtown, and there's a toy store over there, I forgot what it's called, but um, I was looking at shit in there, and then they had a box with some old comics in it, most of them were pretty fucked up, I asked them what the prices were, the girl's like, I don't know, she's like, just take it up, if you see something, I like, take it up there, and I'm like, ah, that's always a bad sign, I didn't see nothing I liked anyways, except for this, Dr. Wortham's Comics and Stories. And this is just some real weird shit, man. You see those two eyeballs right there. Cerebral. I don't even know what that says. Aerith. Aerithim. I can't tell what those last, that, that letter is right there. Anyways, uh, yeah, you see those two eyeballs of a brain back there? A fucking... Looks like a rusty staple spot, but I don't know why you'd have a staple right there. And there are some rusty, sta rusty staples in that, if you can see. But, um, looking at the lineup, I don't recognize any of those guys until we get down here to Steve Bissett and Rick Veach doing the um, last couple things at the end. Some back cover art. There's some just some weird shit, man. Like, look at that. Look at those titties. I don't. So I don't know what it's all about, but uh, anyways, I took it up. I was like, "Well, how much are you gonna try and charge me for this?" And the girl said, "Oh, just give me a dollar." And I was like, "All right." <clears throat> I needed some change anyways, so I busted out a twenty, and I handed it to her. And she's like, "You know what? Go ahead, just keep it. You just take it. You can have it." <laughs> and I say. Like, Fuck it, all right, I'll take it. Uh, so I'll give it a read at some point. It's just it's some like real just paper shit. Like, uh, what do you call it? Um, self published, you know? Dr. Wortham. I wonder if that's a reference to Frederick Wortham. And so that was that in Vegas. Now this stuff here is some dollar, some a couple of dollar comics I got on, oh, excuse me, GrahamCrackers.com. Um, I ordered some gifts, some Christmas gifts, books, which I'll show at a later date. 
But uh, to round out my order, because I hate paying for shipping, I got a couple dollar books. I got this uh, Daredevil Redemption. Filling out, uh, that's just run filler. That's number two. My buddy, he got me a couple other issues that were signed by uh, uh, Bill Sienkiewicz, I believe. He, no, maybe it's Michael Gatos. I don't know. It might be Sienkiewicz cover and signed by him. The ones that he got me. This one is not, but like I said, I'm just trying to, now since he got them for me, I'm like, oh, I'm going to try and put together that run. I do dig uh, uh, Michael Gatos' art. And I'm interested in some of uh, David Hines' writing. The other bo dollar book I got was uh, uh, All Star Batman, number six. And these come in, like, I don't know if these are Mylars or My Lights or whatever, but they're pretty fucking nice. Those were dollar books from Graham Crackers. Now, these were not dollar books, but they were cheaper on Graham Crackers than they were on my comic shop. And. I rarely see these in the cheap bins, so. Batman Nevermore. Um, Len Wein, Guy Davis, who I'm a big fan of, drawing uh, Batman kind of in that marquee style. I mean, this isn't his drawing, but that's what Batman looks like on the interior. Uh, this is a Bernie Wrightson cover. That's number one. And this is number three of five. So now I have, uh, I have that complete run which makes me very happy. That was from Graham, Cracker, from Graham Crackers. Now these are just the, uh, these are the, these are the uh, dollar books that I piggybacked onto my last mycomicshop.com monthly pickups. Because I do a monthly order from my comic shop for my new books, which I never show because I don't know. I, don't, I just, I don't know. I don't really like to show new books. I, I, I enjoy it. I'm glad other people do show them, but it's just not something that I want to do. But, um, so yeah, these are the, uh, whatchamacallit. These are the books I got from my comic shop. I'm going to start off with my indie shit just because I like my indie shit. Uh, this is called Dead Face from Harrier Comics uh, by Eddie Campbell. I don't know very much about this, but it struck my interest, and for a dollar, I will try some things. Um, I got this book called Oxymoron, The Loveliest Nightmare. This is number one. I don't know anything about this from Comics Tribe. Um... I actually got it because the cover looks like a sketch that my son drew a long time ago when he was when he was younger. I wish I had that; I would show it, but I can't find it at the moment. Um, anyways, the character looks kind of like uh, I don't know, cross between Je Deadpool and Joker or something. It's weird shit. Um, this, I'm not a hundred percent sure why I ordered it. Uh, Dabble Brothers, uh, Dog Eaters by Malcolm Wong and Guillermo A. Angel. I mean, it looks kind of cool. Sometimes I order shits off those those dollar books from my comic shop, and I forget why I ordered them. There's probably something in the synopsis that, that sells me on it, because this is another one. I don't know why I ordered it. This is The Witness from Marcosia. Uh, Brian Augustine, Jonathan Lau, um... Marcelo something I think Jonathan Lau drew some comics like uh, Green Hornet or some shit I mean it's a cool ass cover I'm not sure who did the cover but um, I looked at the inside and I, it looks like some like mafia mob type gangster shit I don't know again I think I might have got sold on the the synopsis and I forgot what, why um, this is The Helm by Dark Horse uh, again, being a uh, Bart Sears being a guilty pleasure of mine, and it seems like it's kind of funny, so I grabbed it. I, it was probably an impulse buy, to be honest. Uh, but shit happens, man. You know, with this pandemic, I'm so bummed that there's not gonna be no 
no uh, Bakersfield Comic Con, no Stockton Con this year. No, you know, none of the none of the good shit. And anyways, uh, I've got this Blood Brothers by Fabian Fabian Rangel Jr. and Javier Martin Gava. Um, that one I, I know I got it because it just looks fucking cool. So I told you guys about this in the other video. I don't know what the fuck happened. But I ordered the Shadow Year One, number one, and they sent me number three. So I sent them a message saying, hey, you guys sent me number three instead of number one. They said, oh, okay, well, sorry about that. We'll send you uh, we'll send you number one. And like it says, number one, but it's actually number three again. So I got two of those. Uh, then I got uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, IDW number 45. Some good Casey Jones shit, why not? Um, Half Past Danger, I don't remember why I ordered this. Uh, the cover looks cool. I'll probably have to go back and read the synopsis to try and figure out why I ordered it. Um, the inside art looks pretty cool, I don't remember who draws it. And that's it for my, my indie stuff. Uh, that's a little more mainstream. I got Rumble. That's just a run filler. I, I enjoyed that series. I have the first five issues or so, so that's number six. I'm trying to complete this Hulk Gray series. This is number two. I think I might need like two more issues. And then I got a short, I got a couple of these uh, Uncanny X-Men. I like um, John Cassidy's art. And I'm not sure if, I think he drew this one. I, he definitely drew number three. And number four. And that's all my recent pickups. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, Hit me in the comments. Hit me in the comments. Uh, and that'll do it. So, I got nothing really coming up. Maybe another sale or something will pop up. I don't know. I'm hoping. But there, all the cons being canceled, that kind of sucked. But, uh, yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Share with all your friends. All that good stuff. And like I always say... Get off the internet, go read some fucking comics.